What's good? It's King Kai. Have you ever wondered how to get huge like your favorite character? Well, today I'm gonna teach y'all how to get big like my boy Super Broly. Yo, what's up? Future King Kai here. As a matter of fact, I wanna let you guys know that as a thank you for clicking on the video, I have a little gift for you guys at the end, so make sure you stick around and go and see it, all right? As a personal trainer, I've seen a whole lot of different body types and goals in the gym, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to you know, bring Broly, one of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball, um, into fitness to see if it's possible to get a body like his. Uh, but now, just, I want you guys to understand that I am focusing more on the Super Broly version. When I say Broly, I think Super Broly uh, from the newest Dragon Ball movie because one, I love him, and two, uh, Z Broly is cool and everything, but to achieve muscles like that is probably unlikely uh, dude just he came out with a 10,000 power level and just got big from just existing and I also want to make sure that I establish this uh, these body types like at like you can get big but huge is probably not gonna happen because uh, they're just out of completely out of proportion uh, if you didn't know this Akira Toriyama actually stated when he was talking with the creator of One Piece that he knows that his drawings are just like out of con they're, they're just not realistic at all so if you actually wanted to accurately represent Broly's muscular stature, then it would likely have to be through the means of athletic enhancements. I'm not really endorsing that use. If you want to, then go ahead. Like it, as long as like you're being upfront and awesome about it, not hurting nobody. Do whatever, do whatever you want to. But naturally, probably not going to get that big. The dude is huge. Like look at, I mean, bro, look at his shoulders. Like he's got bowling balls for deltoids. So what kind of training did Broly really do? Uh, unlike his counterparts of Vegeta and Goku, yeah, my boy Goku, I have a statue, get off me. But unlike his counterparts who primarily do calisthenic exercises, uh, he was doing a lot more strongman training without even knowing it, just because he had to do it to survive. So uh, in the beginning, you saw that he was um, he had to fight off like the, the bug monsters from the planet Vampa, and he also had like to drag these giant branches around so he can find something to eat, right? So that's essentially strongman training. Uh, what's, what strongman training actually is, is just um, getting more adept to lifting really, really heavy objects that are generally very awkward. So I would say like giant uh, boulders or uh, tires or logs and stuff like that. Like that's more awkward material that they use in those kind of strongman competitions uh, as opposed to bodybuilding, which is really uh, lifting barbells and dumbbells. And in a bodybuilding program, they're generally... Uh, working for hypertrophy, which if you guys don't already know, it means like gaining muscle mass, okay? So bodybuilders are going after the aesthetics, like trying to look as good as they can for their competitions, and trying to be as low of a body fat percentage as they can, but uh, whereas strong men don't really care about that, like they want to get as strong as they can, but they don't care about like being 8 to 6% body fat. But that's actually considered a good thing because like the bigger you are, you likely can lift a lot more. Now these two training styles are actually very similar because they usually employ the same uh, different movements. So what I mean is like they'll use the same like exercises like with, with barbells or whatever whatever else they're lifting. But the thing is strong men prefer to go after pure strength. Like they want to uh, increase their overall raw power all around, not necessarily just look good. And this is very comparable to Broly's raw strength because you see how uh, powerful, how fast he is. But he got this big and burly from just like lifting these things around his planet, trying to make sure that he doesn't, you know, starve to death. So, in order for a strongman to achieve this strength, they use a lot of compound movements. And a compound movement is when you lift an, an, or the exercise or the lift that you're doing will target multiple muscles at once instead of um, an isolation movement which only targets a single muscle so isolation would be like let's say like a, like a bicep curl uh, it's, you're just working this one muscle uh, directly that is and a compound move, compound movement sorry would be like a bench press so you're targeting a little bit of shoulders chest and triceps and coupled with these movements they would actually consume a lot of calories so they can increase their mass so they can make sure that they can lift that kind of crazy weight all right, so now how does that translate to you, a little regular human with a power level of two? So if you were to follow a training program, you would likely be under the uh, strength and power section. So you would have to um, uh, follow a training program that employs heavy lifts 
with uh, low repetition ranges. So the repetition range, as in, if you guys don't know what a repetition is, basically how many times you do a single movement, it would be around three to five. Like that's the ideal range for when you're lifting something heavy. But as opposed to hypertrophy, which is what I mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, you'll be around like the eight to 12 repetition range. Now to give you guys a visual representation of what I'm talking about, uh, actually from my, my school, NASM, we have this model called the OPT model which stands for Optimum Performance Training. And as you see on this model here, at the very top, there's gonna be a strength, power, raw power that, that the strong men are trying to go after. This is like the fifth phase of training, and essentially you're gonna be doing, a, like let's say more sets generally, like four or five sets, but the repetition is a lot um, lower, but the load is a lot heavier. So it'll be around 90% uh, of like your maximum uh, repetition max. But these different levels represent a different kind of training style so that, that can get you a, a specific result. But in this case, if you want to get big like Broly, you would be up in the raw power range. And as your training advances, so you would be including progressive overloading. And progressive overload is essentially making sure that your lifts are increasing every single week. So let's say you lift uh, 100 pounds on bench press for this week, and then next week you'll try 105, 110, 125. Uh, essentially, you're going up to make sure that you're progressing over time. Now, remember when I said compound movements? Like your training program would include a lot of these because strong men do use these to make sure that they get as strong as they can and they target as many muscles as they can without, like, while saving the most time as possible. So these compound movements would be a bench press, squats, deadlifts, overhead press, deadlifts, log press, deadlifts, yeah. Strong men deadlift a lot. Like you can go look it up, that's their main, that's our main squeeze because deadlift is like one of the, the biggest exercises out there that's pretty integral for a lot of strongman training. Now your nutrition would likely be a lot different than what you're used to doing right now. So you're probably used to eating 1600, 1700, 1800, 2000 calories. As a strongman, you're gonna be eating a lot. If you wanna get big, you gotta eat big. You gotta eat big. So that means you'll be eating a lot more than you normally would. Uh, your diet would include a lot of food that's packed with macronutrients and protein to make sure that you're getting like the, the mass that you need to compete in your uh, training. Uh, I mean, if you're competing, then yeah, you wanna, wanna be able to compete with everyone else. But to make sure that you get the goals that you want, you would need to make sure that you have the size required to get the goals that you want. I wanna stop you right there before you get too excited and start eating a bunch of garbage. I want to debunk something that the fitness industry loves to paint this crazy picture like if someone else says it uh, they're wrong but when someone says calories in versus calories out that's all that matters or whatever like if you want to get bigger consume more calories than you're expending if you want to get smaller consume less calories you're expending essentially that is correct but i need you to understand that there's a difference between dirty bulking and clean bulking please don't dirty bulk like that's this is not an excuse for you to eat a bunch of pizza and burgers. I know you see those guys. I don't know this guy's name. I forgot his name. But I'll, I'll put a picture up right now. Uh, this dude, you see him with pizza on his advertisements. He's over here uh, berating all of your YouTube videos, saying that you can eat pizza or whatever. No. Because there is something called, that no one talks about, it's called visceral fat. Do you, do you know what that is? Okay. Because no one tells you. Visceral fat is basically uh, the fat that collects in your abdominal cavity and also wraps around your organs, right? So this comes from eating a lot of bad foods that's like high in fats and um, oils and stuff like that. Like the visceral fat wraps around your organs and it actually contributes to obesity. And you know, if you live in America, you know, obesity is extremely prevalent around here. So that is why, like there are some people who are in good shape, but they're still obese because they're just eating anything. Like they just eat whatever they want because it's crazy, crazy, crazy. No, you have to actually make sure that you're eating some somewhat clean Right, so I, I suggest you eat a clean diet and that's gonna be uh, in, in healthy meats, fruits, nuts, vegetables, stuff like that. You, your calorie intake is gonna be a little bit higher, but it does not give you an excuse to eat five guys all day. And I love me some five guys, but you can't do that. And finally, you need to make sure that you're getting proper rest too, because rest is just as important. Again, another fitness industry myth is that you need to be training all day, every day, no breaks, no stop. That's also stupid. You need to make sure that you're getting at least eight hours of sleep. Like if you're around my age, I'm around 24 years old, you get around eight hours of sleep. Uh, the younger you are, the more sleep you need, and the older you are, the less sleep you need. But essentially, sleep is just as important as training. Right? Nutrition and sleep is actually more important than training itself, ironically. So when you're training, you actually create these little micro tears in your arms or your muscles. And when you're not training and consuming protein, like I told you earlier, 
that gives your body the opportunity to rest, recover, rebuild itself, and get even stronger and bigger for your next training program. So make sure that you're sleeping, you're scheduling that into. Um, it's not a good thing to like to work out two, three, four, five times a day, work out seven days a week, lifting heavy every single day. You'll not only plateau, you'll get frustrated, you'll crash and burn, and you'll probably stop going to the gym. So I suggest you get your sleep in too. So to recap, you want to get big like the legendary super swine? It's pretty simple. Not easy, but it's simple. You pick up heavy stuff, you put heavy stuff back down, you eat big, and you sleep like a king. Simple! Not easy, but simple. All right, thank y'all for watching. I hope that wasn't too long. Now, the gift that I promised in the beginning, I actually made a six day weight training hypertrophy program. And the reason why I wanted to uh, put it here is because I think it's gonna be a good uh, gift that goes along with the theme of this video, increasing size. It's not designed for raw strength and power but it is designed for increasing your size a little bit. So guys, go ahead and click the link in the description. I'm gonna put it down there and you guys can go uh, pick it up. It's completely free, I just give it to people. I wanna do what I can to help out as much as I can. So click that link, uh, get your workout. And the only thing that I, I ask from you is that you one, like the video, two, sub to my channel, and three, let me know how it's working for you. Uh, I do want you to go use it. Let me know how it's working for you. And like message me on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description too. Message me on Instagram, excuse me. <laughs> And let me know how the progress is working for you and how you like the workout, stuff like that. I'd love to hear it. I'm here to help, all right? This is your sensei, King Kai. Thank you for watching. Deuces.